Hey peeps, Phoenix here. Continue on with Strong Maz. It's a cool game for attractive people. Episode 4, Dangerousk 3, The Criminal Projectives. In the last episode, we lost our father in a truly cruel battle. And we are now engaged in a high-speed car chase with Killing You Guy. So, our main goal right now, somehow get rid of Killing You Guy. God, bulletproof! Bulletproof? That's hardly fair. Okay, uh, I don't think anything we have in here is gonna work. Eh? A puny little rock like this won't do a thing against that pummeling machine. Well, you never know unless you... Dangerous! It's me! What's going on down there? Um, now is not really a good time to chat. Get that chopper closer! I can't get any closer! You try to be taller! Alright, so our job is to get to the helicopter. But we need to get rid of this guy somehow. We can't do it with the nunchuck gun or the small rock, so maybe there's something in the car. Let's see, with autopilot, let's try some smokescreen. Hit him with the- Oops, sorry. Smoke is for dopes! Whoa, that didn't even slow him down! Must be from years of henching and smoky dives. Or preventing younger viewers from smoking. Don't do it, kids. It's not good for you. Um, autopilot, maybe some oil slick? Let's see how well Tiny can keep up on an oil slick! On oh, slipping on oil! Well, that definitely has an effect on him. Oh no! Killing you guys right on my tail in this high speed stunt spectacular car chase! If he catches up, I'm done for! Horses! Horses! But he will regain his composure after the first round. Activate voice commands! So, let us see. We tried that. Let's try the bus saw. Deploy the saw blade boomerang hubcaps! Man, if there were cool tanks, or maybe a street loser driving beside me right now, they would be so totally shredded! Well, it partially works. At least they're there. Uh. Release the escape hatch! Hey, quit tailgating! Unless you've got some cold ones and potato salad to share! Well, we can't get the back open because he's following us. Let us try this! Engage the emergency brake! Oh, right. The brakes are cut. Yeah, he can't beat logic. Hup. We can also hop to the hood and back to the roof if we really want to, but there's one more thing. Fire forward missiles! Well, that was useless. Yeah, that's not gonna do any good. So, we need... We noticed the only thing that seemed to work was using oil slick. But can we go down and get this? Only a black belt in bad brick pork like myself can remove one of these Samarang hubcaps while it's still spinning. Got it! Alright, so now we got a hubcap we can use. Set back to the roof and get him oil slicked again. Let's see how well Tiny can keep up on an oil slick! Bob's slipping on oil! Alright, now let's use our newly acclaimed weapon. Acclaimed. Actually, that might work there. Anyway. Hey, killing you guys! You should have saw this coming! You locked me down! The one back! Whoa! That guy's unstoppable! He may be unstoppable, but now he's a distance away. <laughs> Although, I'm curious, what happens if you throw this at him when he's not being distracted? This ought to slow the big guy down! Summerang! <laughs> well, uh, I almost trapped! Well, he stumbled a bit, but not much else. Sure was fun, though. Can't deny that. Okay, but <laughs> now we can do an option that we couldn't because he was Activate right behind voice us. voice commands! Let's get the trunk open. Release the escape hatch! And with that, we should be able to get to the top. Zoop. Bad idea, bad idea. Oof. You almost had it, Dangerous. See if you can prop that hatch up with something. 
See if you can patch your trap up with something. What? Nothing. Oh, uh, one sec. All right, yeah. No problem. Okay, so we can make him slip. We knocked him back far enough, and we can for, uh, put up the trap. Release the escape hatch. But we need to prop it up with something. Oh. And of course, with our super muscly skills, we could just do this. I'm gonna have to slow this car down the prehistoric way. Ow, 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 Looks like I'm gonna have to... Shut up and get up here! What took you so long? Uh-huh. You're lucky you made it out alive. I had the situation totally under control, babe. And I got your formula. Now I can save the rainforest. I'll start by planting a nursery in my backyard. Goodbye, Dangeresque. I'll never forget you. Dangeresque, ah! it is I, Uzi Bazooka. You're too late, Bazooka. I already gave the formula back to Cutesy Buttons. I don't care about the formula. I never did. I just want to make you suffer. And now, I kidnapped your partner, Ronaldo. Dangerous! Don't listen to him! I'm taking him to my secret space station on the sun. If you want to save him, come and get him! Come and get him! Come and get him! Come and get him! Yeah, go with the force one. Yep, looks like I'm seriously gonna have to jump! Another perfect landing out of a helicopter! Now I just need to find some way to get to the sun! Hmm. Well, while we think about that, we're back in Brain Blow City. And there's a couple of things I actually forgot to do. And I'm gonna... I don't think I... Did I? I might have. I might have. Because... If you notice at the end of the last video, I attached something that I did forget, and that was one of the celebrity name drops. I don't know if this is the save file that did it. I should have paid attention. Oh boy, I'm starting to think that no, this isn't. Either way, we can go to that save file after a second. First off though, we want to go all the way back here. Yeah, it's a far away distance, just... No, okay. So I don't know if it's this one. In fact, I'm starting to think it's not. But we want to shoot the sign. Interrogating inanimate... Or not. Okay, I was wrong. Oh, uh, one second. I'm actually going to double check to see if this is the right save file. Sorry about this. Alright, after double checking. No, we're fine, we're fine. This is the right save file. I just, just had to double check. So that way, things were easier to tell and all that. So while well, we're still thinking of a way to get to the sun... What? Wait, what? Oh, that is just nothing. Strong sound, I told you to strike the helicopter set! Ow! I said I'll get it later! <laughs> Oddly enough, that's not an outtake. I don't know why it isn't, but just take it for what it is. This is the one we want to do. Let's do it. Okay, sign. This is border control. Do you have any fruit to declare? Whoa, that's way better than fruit. Wow, dangerous brand Ronaldo bed sheets. They wet themselves so you don't have to. They are really trying to make him the grossest character they can imagine. But now we have a metal detector. With this, we want to examine the area a little bit. Where is it at? Where is it at? Wow, 
Wow, this one's being stubborn. Come on, where are you at? It's gonna be all the way to the other side, isn't it? Stray bullet, apparently monogrammed by killing you guy. All right, and that's our first monogram. Monogram? Is that the right word? Personalized bullets. Where the heck did monogram come from? Oh no! Don't tell me there's still another one. I'm not gonna look too hard. I'm just gonna do another sweep around. Although, I do not think there is another bullet around here. Because if there is, I don't think you're going to find it this episode. I'm not going to spend too much time looking for it. So, if we keep... I'm just going to go as far as the fence. Okay, so that's not there. Uh, but we could go to Strong Borneo. Here. Come on. They put this in the worst possible place. There. Property of Baron Darren Diamonocle. If found, please return to Brainblow State Prison. Meet me in the back by the rusty fence. That sounds like a really bad idea. Man, that guy can write really small. I guess that's what he uses that monocle for. Fair enough. And we can also head over to the catacombs because I missed something while we were here. Because we want to check the panel that the item came from. Hey, there's something else jammed up in here. Aha! So that's where the field operations manual for classified space travel went to. A hot female agent must have left this here for me. And finally, let us head to Venice. And at least I think we can do this here. Use our metal detector. Maybe we can get something. Something I can help you with, stranger. Well, who are you, and what are you doing here? Psst. You need some information. Oh. Freeze, dirt scum! What? What did I do? Oh, nothing. I just love doing that. Hey, you, citizen. I'm looking for some information. Buongiorno. I'm known around these parts as Stinky the Peeve. I sense that you are looking for information. Yeah, I just said that. And I said no accents. Uh, okay. I knew you were going to say that. But before you leave, I should let you know that I have three brothers located in other countries that are also willing to help you. They aren't psychics. But they do have unique talents that may be useful. I'm trying really hard not to let that disturb me. Alright, let me double check something. Yeah, okay, we didn't. It might not be here. Hey, though. BB Stank! Tell me what you want to know. So what are you doing here? Because I gotta seal this whole place off to search for a fugitive. I am a psychic advisor sent here by higher forces to help you in your investigation. Higher forces, of course. I am what is called a touch psychic. 
Give me any item and I can tell you its significance. What happened to that solidest gold nugget over there that I totally wasn't going to steal? My senses tell me that a mysterious woman may have taken it. There is a rumor that a beautiful woman is attempting to steal all the world's greatest treasures. Oh yeah, these must be the world's second greatest treasures. I already stole all the good ones. I'm looking for a man who has stolen some very important discs. These aren't pirated copies of Windows Millennium ah. Edition, are they? Because I don't deal with that kind of... No, just top secret rocket launch codes to the sun. Ah, you're looking for Perducci. Perducci! He was here in Venice not too long ago, but has since fled the country. If you have any items that Perducci has touched, I might be able to help you find him. I'm out of here, stink man. Don't forget to look up any of my three bro- And that's about as much as we can do for now. But we need a way to get to the sun. We have a rocket. Fire up that rocket, Professor! I need to get to the sun! Sultry buttons? Dangerous? I never thought I'd see you again. It's been a long time. Let's see. The last time I saw you was in... um... Paris! How could you forget? It was the most romantic night of my life. You gave me a beautiful, stickiny flower. And we had our picture taken with the novelty Eiffel Tower, next to the real Eiffel Tower. Then you got called away to save a bus full of school children from an erupting volcano stuffed with sharks in a top secret location that you couldn't disclose. Oh yeah, I remember coming up with that one. What? You stole the ruby? But I need that for the rocket! I'm sorry. When you left me, I turned to a life of crime. Now I'm stealing the world's rarest gems, starting with that ruby. Come on, sweetheart. It doesn't have to be like this. We can be a couple again. Me and you, and the ruby, maybe not you. Can the sweet talk. We're not in Paris anymore. Maybe if you gave me another stickiny flower. Too bad they're extinct. Goodbye, Dangerous. <laughs> Are you okay, Professor? You gotta get that rocket working. Launch codes? I forgot. Cutesy Button still has them. I just need to get them back. Don't worry. I'll get your ruby back, too. Alright, so, um... We're not going to the sun anytime soon, but uh, at least you will leave a knife. Uh, get the knife. Whoa, now that's a knife. Perfect for cutting the crust off my grilled cheese sandwich. I mean when I need to hack and slash my way through mobs of reanimated rebel rhinoceraptors. I think I'll call you Stabby. Hey dude, grilled cheese sandwiches are no joke. And about this picture, maybe we should get it scanned real quick. Let's see, just stick this in there, mash this thing, move this little knobby, let's stand before serving, and ding! Aha! So that's where the field operations manual for classified space travel went to. A hot female robot agent must have digitized this for me here. Aha. Uh -huh. And we don't even get to place this, it's already here. But, with this knife, we're gonna head back to Strong Borneo. And we want to get the knife out. I don't know where we use this. Maybe just here? Anywhere? Hey, there is something stashed back behind these jungle leaves. It's a missing page from the rocket operations manual featuring a complete map of space. Unfortunately, this one's out of date. We now know that aliens aren't blue. And that was the last manual page we needed, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it was! And with that, we are now a 12-fingered henchman. Still got a lot of outtakes. Again, most of them are going to be in the, uh, 
the afterplay. Almost had all the collectibles. Almost all the, the costumes and the collectibles are the same things at this point, aren't they? No, no, they're different. They're different. We've got three more characters to nunchuck. Three more name drops, and that isn't going to happen until the extended play. For now, though, let's go ahead and check out more support. Er, Cutesy's place. Uh, that is entirely what I meant to say. First off, though. What can I do for treasure. you, Strong Bat? I mean, Dangerous. Oh! That was actually. Welcome an to outtake. my Formula Enhanced Nursery, Dangerous. What was that? There it is. But yeah, her saying Strong Bad was an outtake. Now that is one sultry bullet. Ooh, I should get her to change her name to Sultry Bullets. Alright, so that's our third bullet. The next one we won't be finding until probably the next episode. And we can look at the garden. Wow, those plants really grew fast. I know, I can practically smell the ozone layer being restored. Our air will no longer be toxic and poisonous. Or will it no longer be poison-esque? Knock it off! Uh, okay. Oh, come on! Hey, what's going on over here? That's the intensive care nursery for abused plants. Go near it and I'll break your arms. Considering we're one of the few characters that actually has them, I think she's serious. Say hey, baby. Did danger -esque come through for you on that formula or what? It's okay. You can say it. The formula works, Dangeresque. Just look at all these baby trees. So eager to grow up and become the next great rainforest. And then my log cabin summer home in the ah! Hamptons. Hey, remember that disc you took from Uzi Bazooka? The one with all the important launch codes on it? You wouldn't happen to still have that, would you? Funny you should mention that. Right after I used the formula, a man named Perducci showed up and offered me a sapling topiary for it. So I gave it to him. Perducci has the disc? He seemed like such a nice, well-dressed man. I did overhear him saying he was traveling to Venice, if that helps. You don't say. It's nice to see someone so dedicated to the issues these days. Thank you, Dangerous. People so rarely care enough to let their own social status and personal hygiene fall by the wayside just to concentrate on planting trees. I agree. I think. You don't want to agree. I need another one of those stick a knee flowers. You got any? No, the one we used for my formula was the last one. If only you had a sample of the original plant. Oh, really? Alright, but I think we got long enough for an episode. Though, I think we should just double check the garden a little bit. Uh... So this is all the result of that top secret formula? Not bad. If people can learn to conserve their environment, the world will be better <laughs> off. I'm sorry, I really love that scene. <laughs> Come on, love for the onion bubs. Uh, now that that's out of the way, I think we'll call an episode here. In the next one, we are going to try and get another stickany flower and find Perducci! If you guys have any random comments or questions, pop them down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later!